fuck out of here, nigga. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. I'm trying to show you my skill in the sheets, you feel me? Let me chill out. 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 Magic. What's good, y'all, man? Welcome back to some more Hogwarts Legacy. You feel me? I've been missing this game. It's been it's been a couple days since I played this, so if I'm trash at it. That's why. Also, I wanted to say that these videos are gonna kind of be like longer length since it's like a longer game. And like, I'm not gonna do much editing in this because I wanna push out some more content like the Minecraft stuff. I like, got some more stuff like Human Fall Flat, some other things, you know what I'm saying? And um, yeah, with that being said, bro, let's get into it. All right, where do we leave off at, bro? What do we gotta do? Uh, report the Professor Hellcat? Uh, I said Hellcat, Hecat? I'm tweaking. All righty, Professor, we're here. What you need me for? Uh, I'm here for, about so the new spell you wanted to teach me, Professor. Good. I got Professor Fig in indicated face. a certain urgency to you completing your defensive magic assignments. Get As such, notification you have my... to learn Incendio, the fire-making spell. Handy for lighting torches, burning away spider webs, and, when necessary, defending against those who would wish to do us harm. Okay. Sounds uh, versatile. I'm not really Quite. interested. But before we get started, I'd like, like you geez. to complete a few tasks. You may be surprised by some of them. Astonishing how much students don't think their professors know. When you're finished, come and see me. Then we shall begin working on Incendio. Whee! Who the hell is that? Here I've come from the toilet bowl where she Oh, it's that nigga friend, again. Oh no. Ted man, it's something wrong with him. His name PD or something like that, right? That man creased me out. I don't Glad trust him. Make it. Lucan's just over there. Huh? Can I help you? Me? You? I'm supposed to talk to you? Sebastian told me to see you about a club. If Sebastian vouches for you, that's all I need to know. Who are you? I coordinate duels for crossed ones. A dueling club of sorts. Facilitation only, so you must have really impressed Sebastian. He don't be in the field for real, bro. He don't be in the field for real. That's I'm nice flattered to hear that. Sebastian's not a bad duelist either. Imagine it's quite Sebastian's something trash. to see the two of you, Jewel. How does Cross Ones work exactly? You show up, I match you with other duelists, and whoever is still standing in the end wins. It's our way of determining the school's greatest simple. duelist once and for all. And to liven things up, the winner is awarded a prize. Interested? Uh. Sure. Of course. Dueling's an entertaining pastime. I agree. Besides, Don't cut me off. in cross ones, you can duel with a partner if you like. Your first time I'll pair you with Sebastian. I don't need him. Next time, you'll need to bring a partner along or duel alone. So, care to step into the ring? Man, let's go. Get Bro, me I'm in the ready. Ring. Who wants smoke? Spectacular. Let the fireworks begin. Bro, tone it down a notch, bro. Spectacular. <laughs> What the fuck, We'll nigga? make you regret signing up. Ugh, what the fuck is that? I want to body her ass. You see her neck? Ugh, that, yeah. <laughs> fuck, no. All right, uh, lock on the enemies. Okay, okay, okay. I don't care. I'm about to just body their ass. Let's go. Come on. Let's go, bitch. If you don't get your stupid ass off. Oh. What? What is Africa? What? Bitch. Ooh, okay, Sebastian. You not safe either, boy. Am I getting body? I'm getting body. Oh my god. Oh my god. Woo! Bit. Come on. What's up? What's up? Aki. Oh shit. Oh my god. Um. What the hell is Levioso? Levioso, bitch. Got your man up it. Oh my god, I'm about to loot Sebastian. It's so so. Come on. Woo! Woo! Good shit. It's so so. Woo! Let me also, bit. I'm defeated. They whooped my ass. That I was talking painful. all that shit. Can't you try another round? Yes. Don't count Bruh. me out yet. Back your ass up. <laughs> You thought this was. Uh, let me also. You thought you were gonna hit me? Yeah, you getting some too? A uh, bit. Let me also. Got your man's down. Woo! My back. Bing! Oh my god! 
I hit her as some apples. That. Nice work. Sebastian wasn't wrong about you. There's yeah. strong competition ahead, but it keep this up the first time. and you could be the next school champion. Ready for another round? Yeah, let's go, bro. I'm ready. Let's do it. Brilliant. Are you dueling with a partner? Uh, let's go with yes, that side, nasty. bro. Then let's get to it. Ready to get thrashed? She, she did a little Apologies too much. In advance. What? It's three, y'all? Oh, it's two. How's that fair? Um, break through violent shields with... Uh, summon the charm Akio. Okay. Uh, Akio, bitch! Akio. One, two, three. Uh, it's what the finished. fuck? Oh my god! Let me also. Lift your ass up! Bro, oh my god, bro, I can't do this, I can't do this, I can't. I'm stuck! Oh my god. Akio! You thought you was falling to the ground? No, sir! So Natsai, get his ass right here in front of you! Oh my god, bro! Are you fucking serious? If I lose, I swear to god, bro. How are you like damn near full health? What are you even doing? Give me Sebastian, bro. I gotta go with her again? Oh my god, bro. Give me Sebastian. Let's go, bitch. Give me something. Come on. I dare you. I dare you. No, bitch. Fuck out of here, nigga. Oh, not like do something, bro. Switch to her, switch to her, switch to her. I'll kill. I'll kill. Bitch! Woo! Yeah, yeah. Thank you. You are no help. <laughs> she was no help. Shit, the where next the fuck Professor Hellcat the at? Let's talk about something, bro. What were you doing back there in that game? Hello? Don't just ignore me, bro. What were you doing? I don't I don't fuck with her, bro. If only a new student were to help me with my sad predicament. If only, right? If only. You finished all of the tasks you gave me, Professor Hackett. Glad to hear it. Then you should be ready to learn Incendio. Yep, should yep, be, yep. Professor. Yes. I'm sorry to say, I visited enough careless colleagues at St. Mungo's to assure you that fire is a fickle servant. Your spellcasting has me dance, impressed bro. me thus- I bet. I'm finna get fire style, I'm finna be a, a, a firebender, let's go! Ooh, okay, okay. I, I, don't, I don't want Akio, I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. I got Levioso, I don't need Akio. So, Incendium. bitch! Heavy damage spell. Okay, okay. Oh, it's a little training dummy. Let me get it. Let me get it. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Getting it. Keep at it. And do try not to incinerate yourself. Return to Professor Fig's classroom. Okay, let's go. All right, ah, bro. Then we back, bro. Are. What you need? What Hello, you need? Hello, sir. You'll be pleased to know that I worked on my defensive magic with Professor Hackett. So I hear. She tells me you've taken rather well to your new wand. You must continue to work with her and your other professors to improve your skills. That said, I don't wish to postpone our visit to the library any longer. Hmm? Go to the library? So, shall we proceed? Let's go. Fig, I have work for you. Come. Headmaster, I'm with a student and my Your schedule's... schedule will wait indefinitely, as will your student. I would me think personally? that after all the trouble you caused me with Osric, you'd be eager to make amends. My office. Five minutes. Me personally, no, no, I would, I would not let that man talk to me like that, bro. That man is exasperating. I don't know what that Unfortunately, means. Unfortunately, our trip to the restricted section will have to wait a bit exasperating. longer. Exasperating. But professor, we have no choice. It would be unwise to provoke our illustrious headmaster further. 
I shall you find you when I've completed whatever toils I must endure. You let that man come in here talk. He, he came in your classroom, bro. Said he gave you a time limit to. Oh my God! Hell no! Nah. Fuck no! <laughs> nah, I, I, don't, I, I lost respect for Professor Fig, bro. What's good, bro? Sebastian, there you are. There you are. You what? promised me an explanation for what happened in the three broomsticks. Not many students have Victor Rookwood's attention. What was that all about? Um. Seems guess, he's working with Ranrock, him, and Ranrock is after something I found at Gringotts. Ranrock? And when were you at Gringotts? I, I Professor Fig and I ended up there bit. after the dragon attack. It's quite the tale. Fig had this port key. A port key? To Gringotts? I'm not sure I follow. I barely follow myself, and I was there. Anyway, we ended up in an ancient vault where we found a map. That map leads to the restricted section. You can't be serious. Deadly serious. Professor Fig has insisted that I not tell a soul about any of this. I've probably said too much. Understood. You said everything. Your secret's safe with me. Whatever it is. Thank you, Sebastian. Did I fuck up telling you him? You mentioned being clever enough not to get caught in the restricted section. And I am. Meet me outside the library tonight and tell no one. Alright, bro, see you. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll meet you later. See there? That's the door we need to reach. Okay. What are those guards? And those annoying prefects would love nothing more than to rat on us to Scribner. So don't let them see us. Understood? I can I be sneaky. Sneak. Let's go. Hold on. Y'all know how trash I am. There's a spell sneaky, you bro. should know. The disillusionment charm. Good for getting places you're not supposed to be. Cast it and you'll appear as little more than a trick of the light. Just as long as you keep your distance and stay quiet. You mean I'll actually be able to turn invisible? Something like that. It's not as foolproof as a cloak, oh, wow. but those are expensive. They can't hear you? And spells, spells are free. Give it a try. So I just... I'll be quieter Ooh. than a juggernaut. How long does it last, though? Was sent in an investigation in the court by the quest failure. Okay. Look at this stupid motherfucker, bro. How did you not hear the door open? But okay. Lost. The librarian's still here. Quick, oh, behind the bookcase. Okay, okay, let's go. Damn. You told me the librarian would be gone by now. I said usually, but it'll still be all right. Do you see her desk behind me? She don't hear y'all. The key is in the drawer of that desk. Now, here's what we're going to do. How does she I'll not hear? I'll create a distraction to draw her away. You focus on getting the key. I'll meet you outside of the restricted section. Alright. Let's go, let's go. Alright, get the, the key. key. Here it yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. Look at her ass right here, bro. Oh! Okay, okay, okay. Is okay. someone there? Nope. Is that you, Peeves? Oh! That wasn't so difficult after all. I have to find that book. I'll be undetected. Wait, using basic cast while being undetected to Lord Authority. Okay, okay. Aim mode. Okay. Ghost, don't let her see you. Be okay, let's go, let's go. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. I'm just going. Where's she at? Let's go. Should be in the clip. There's no need for us to be stopping around. We good? We Gucci? So what is it you've been looking for? I'm looking for a cure to help my twin sister, Anne, so that she can return to Hogwarts. Because Merlin knows everyone else has given up. Why do you think we'll find a cure in the restricted section? What happened to her? Does the Hogwarts matron have nothing that can help Anne? No. We've tried everyone from Nurse Blaney to St. Mungo's. But I can research on Nasty my own. Chest. No need to concern yourself with that right now. Let's focus on what you're after. 
Which is what, precisely? I'll know it when I see it. You're being awfully cryptic. I don't know why I did that. Who have we here? What? This man! Sebastian Solo and his new little friend! Out exploring where they should be. like be. Beetlejuice. Naughty, naughty, you'll get caught. Peeves, don't you? I'm going to tell. I'm going to tell. I'm I don't fuck with tell. him, bro. He's weird. And he a snitch? Oh, blasted Peeves. I've got to stop him or at least get to the librarian with a good excuse for all of this. Wait, I don't want you getting into trouble for me. I have a way with the faculty when it comes to disciplinary matters. Besides, I like having friends who are in my debt. Now go. Good luck in your search. Now, where has that damned poltergeist got to? I know just the spell to repair this armor. All right, we need repair room. What's, what's the wrong one? Here we go. Of course, traces of ancient magic. Uh, what do I do? That's, That's, it. It. That's it. Whoa. What's this? Some bag in here? Some money? Open it. Teal swiped at attire. How might this lead? How do, how do I get how do I get across this? Um what? Bit I don't know why I tried that. I don't know why I tried that. I don't know why I tried that. How do I Revelio. get it? Almost Revelio. Ah I need to wake up that rune over there. Oh, so bit Incendio. Yeah. Not surprising. Cards oh, nice. are ready. Revelio. Let's go. Tell me what's smoke. What are you talking about? You want some too? Let's do fast about it. Oh, it's more of y'all. Whoa! Protego. Protego. Uh, Protego. Incendio. Ugh! What? 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 No! What the fuck? Is that a superhero? So I had someone, bro. Revelio. Joe, what's up, Smoke? What's up? Do something. Oh my god, he did something! Do something, come on, come on. No nope. stupid fight. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> what the? That shit, oh my god. Oh my this god. must be the way forward, but to where? I gotta be quick on my shit. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Uh. I gotta hit it again? Hit it! Nearly there. Best keep my wits okay. about me. Also, I gotta fight these motherfuckers. Rebellion. Whoopsie, whoopsie. Here. What you want? Do something? Do something? Do something? Do something? Do something? What? Stupid. That's another? Get your ass up out of here. Oh my god. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Nope. Nope. No! Almost fell off. Okay. 
cut it out almost. Woo! Here, take it, buddy. Thank you. Ooh, that was clean. That was clean. Incendium. Nope. Stupid fun. Now you can get your buddy fucked up. Now it's time for you. Nope. Stupid fun. Alright. Yeah. I'm, I'm kind of getting good at this. Just a little bit. Just a smidge. It is a book after all. Oh, man. Motherfucker just pee? What is that? Ew, she got mold at the bottom? What's that? Repair Oh! He made it rain. Summon some Tylenol for that man? Not Tylenol. <coughs> Who is this man? Is that Merlin? Merlin's beard! <laughs> Wanted to see oh, me? Never mind. Headmistress Fitzgerald, Professor Rackham. Miss Isadora Morganach. Welcome. That's Professor a Rookwood. Crazy name. Professor Bacar. We understand that you are adjusting well to life at Hogwarts. I am. I am glad. That she cheese us. Especially in light of your unusual situation, starting as a fifth year. As it happens, She's just like I was me. also admitted to Hogwarts as a fifth year. I've never heard of another like us. Miss oh. Morganock, when we spoke yesterday after class, you asked about the beautiful swirls you saw years ago when we visited your hamlet. I recognized you all immediately. I cannot thank you enough for what you did. We were glad to help. And yes, I did see swirls of magic everywhere that day. My father insists it was my imagination running wild, but it was certainly real to me. It was not your imagination. Percival, Professor Rackham can see them too, but we have never known of another who could. I don't understand. What are they? The whispers or traces that appear when a particular form of ancient magic is wielded. Ancient magic? Few are capable of wielding it. Hogwarts itself is a stronghold of ancient magic. So if I can see traces of ancient magic, does that mean I can wield it too? With the proper training. But let us not get ahead of ourselves, Miss Morganach. Before I can train you to wield such magic, you must first master all that Hogwarts has to offer. She has magic this powerful can do great harm in the wrong hands. It must be wielded by a select few. 
As such, we ask that you not speak to anyone about what we have discussed here today. No yes or no? Ooh, she just <laughs> she just walked off cheesing. Think yeah, we don't want you to talk about this. Like what? <laughs> Confirm. I wouldn't trust her. Sebastian. Sneaking in the restricted section again! Oh boy. I had thought we were through with this mischief. Clearly detentions are insufficient. I'm afraid I must peeves, take this bro. to the headmaster. But that being said, Peeves informs me that you didn't come alone tonight. Bro, Peeves is a snitch! If someone has coerced you, I would have you tell me. You're a bright boy. Don't waste this. There was nobody else. I came alone. Sebastian's a real one. Sebastian's a real oh, one. Oh, Sebastian. What will your uncle say? <laughs> oh, he... I fucking hate that motherfucker, bro. No, I got this wisdom tooth in my mouth, bro. And it's... it's I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. It's fucking up my jaw real bad. Pause. Like my, I'm, it's hurting to talk almost. So if I get quiet at certain points in the video, I've always that's why. You cannot be serious. Goblins working with Rookwood makes no sense. It is rather unorthodox to say What's the least. On? Unorthodox? It's inconceivable. It's ah, Fig. You have a visitor. I'll see what I can find out. Professor hmm. Sharp? Sir, well, you got I was limp. able to search the restricted section while you were with Professor Black. It was a book we were after. What? That's... Wait. You accessed the restricted section? But how? Thinking on it, perhaps it's best you spare me the details. Fair <laughs> enough. In fact, the book was below the restricted section as it appeared on the map. I want to hear everything. First, let's have a look. Don't look at me. Read the book. Oh. oh, dear. Some of these pages seem to be missing. It appears someone has got to the book before us. Still, I will need time to study what remains. Perhaps we can still salvage something useful, though it may take some time. I wonder why it was here, below Hogwarts. I think I know, sir. I saw two more memories where I found the book. Another pensive, Godric's heart. The man we saw before, Percival Rackham, was a professor here. The first memory showed him and three other professors using ancient magic to restore a hamlet from a drought. Miriam was right. And the second memory? They were talking to a student who started as a fifth year, like I did. She could see traces of magic too. Why those memories? Hmm. Perhaps this book will explain. Now I'll have to take it with me to London. The headmaster has insisted that I speak directly to the minister about George's death. R. Peter Boy George. I understand. I'll see what I can learn about the missing pages while you're gone. Good. Don't neglect your studies. Your wand work is improving by the day. But you'll want to pay attention in herbology and potions. There's more to magic than spell casting. Plenty to keep okay. me occupied while you're gone. You've done exceptionally well. I look forward to seeing all that you've accomplished when I return. Oh, and don't neglect your what? friends. You may be surprised by how much you can learn from them as well. Okay, hope you don't. Ah, fuck! Oh my god, I bit my lip. After that sneeze, that shit hurt. Meet me in Lower Hogsfield what? as soon as possible. I would like I to talk fuck to with you, you about Rookwood and Harlow, and it might be best to do so outside of the castle. I don't fuck with you. What is this, potion class? Or this plants? Who this? Good morning, Professor Garlic. How wonderful it is to like see that? you again, Lenore. Professor dear. Garlic? Oh, here. You'll need these for today's class. Uh, uh, 
a little treat uh, for your auntie. Jeez, Professor Garlic, bro. All the I'm just I'm saying, bro. They all bad, bro. They all bad. Class, please welcome the newest rose in our garden. This we do look forward bro. to growing together. <laughs> How look at her, look at me like that. You see her, bro. You see her? Again. She's like. This year will be filled with like, enchantment. Bro, she want me. She want me. But the most important thing cultivated in herbology is, this is her herbology. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacular than the me. belting bowl. She fuck with me, bro. She fuck with me. Now then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuber known as the mandrake root. Akio. Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable. I was gonna make a joke, I gotta make it. I'm, I'm not First, gonna make a joke, bro. Let's protect our ears. <laughs> what? Is that cotton? You putting cotton in our now, ears? Now, everyone, grip It is February, you can't have me touching cotton, bro. Give it a <laughs> Let me stop. Hug. Uh, pull. Ew, what the hell? Get your ass in there, buddy. Tweaking. That man came out pissed. The soil should envelop the root like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. Repair. <laughs> I hurt my fucking mouth. I'm very sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. All right then, off you go. Splendid work, everyone. She kind of fine. Now for our next fine. task, we'll be planting dittany at our. Mm. I wonder if hippogriffs like not grass. Yes, Professor. Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. Um, nearly I'll went say, deaf. Nearly went deaf. Well, yes. Of course, the cry of a mature mandragora can be fatal. So remember to keep those ears protected. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. Pick them up in Hogsmeade. You visited <laughs> you the magic see, I come from Paris, you feel me? Wonderful. A prepared like student like is bound to bloom. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. It wasn't easy to spare one on such late is she notice. My own Plant table? the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. Let's I got see you, how to balance my star thistle arrangement. Dittany's restorative properties make it a vital ingredient in the Wiganweld potion. Nine As you all should know from Prof. Well done! Once it can be harvested, your Dittany will be ready to use in Wiganweld potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Wiganweld potion? What say we branch out? Introduce you to a different sort of flora the Chinese chomping cabbage. You'll find that Her some plants are better apart. suited to uses fine, outside though. of a cauldron. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Be a dear, and let them have a good chomping. Yes, Professor. They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Mr. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. You see how she walked up on me like that? Yeah. Thought you were on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. Who? Is nice to you? meet you. I'm Leander. I'll be showing you the Chinese chomping cabbages. Up these stairs, I'll take us there. But Look at me, bro. Level get anxiety. Nice He's not work trying to defense against the dark arts, by the way. Excuse me. Appreciate it, bro. Your duel with Sebastian. And he's good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good. Downstairs? But you outright slaughtered him. It was brilliant. Oh. It's downstairs. Oh. Thank you. I nearly put Sebastian in his place myself. What? I, mean, I would have, if Hecate hadn't stopped me. 
Didn't she stop that dragon skull from crushing you? Oh, you're the Nick. Oh! <laughs> Typical Slytherin trick, dropping a dragon skull on someone during a fight. We Gryffindors fight with honor. Uh, hey, shut no. your bitch Here ass up, bro. Home of the Chinese chomping cabbage. Try to talk down on my set, Nick. Now, see that dummy? Just toss the cabbage at it, and they'll do the rest. I don't want to talk. I'm I was sorry. trying to collect. What do I need to do? Garlic said she wanted you to have a go at tending the cabbages. Give them some time to chomp and whatnot. Nothing to it, really. Just toss some of those Chinese chomping cabbages out. <laughs> You'll see fairly quickly why we call them that. So I just... Okay, so how do I put these down? Oh, 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 I attacked. Oh, that's tough. Oh, they can get their mouths I like on. this. I like this. Bitch. Mum planted some in her garden last year to keep the gnomes out. Did save her the denoming, but they left her honking daffodils in tatters. I'm sorry. What do I need to do? Garlic well, said she wanted to have a go at tending the cabbages. Give them some time to chomp and whatnot. Nothing to it, really. Just toss some of those Chinese chomping cabbages out. <laughs> You'll see fairly quickly why we call them that. I did that. Vicious little bastards, aren't they? My kind of plants. You. Not like stupid booger tubers man. and bouncing bulbs. The kind of plants that just have your back in a fight. I'm not saying you can't go it alone, but, well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. I suppose they could prove useful outside of the greenhouse. Nothing wrong with a bit of backup, even if it is from a cabbage. It's chaos That's out crazy. there. Trolls in Hogsmeade and such. You can't be above throwing a cruciferous vegetable if necessary. I'm the one that beat Dogweed the troll. and death cap has more of them, if you're keen. Other plants too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we uh, probably ought to head back to class. Dragon hide glove. I tended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable yeah. plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too much trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. And good, as you do seem to I be quite green-fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. I'm trying to show you my skill in the sheets, you feel me? Let me chill out. 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 Magical plants have so much to offer. <laughs> I'm eager to learn more. I'm glad. Herbology is a bounteous subject. Tend to your garden, and it will tend to you. Huh. Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. Bro, she fuck with me, bro. Yeah, let's make some potion. Professor Black? Or Sharp? Who potions is, this? is one of the oh, most sharp. challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld potion. I need, I need a bunch Mr. of those. Mr. Takar, well, can you tell us why this particular potion? might come in handy. Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wiganwell potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a Wiganwell potion of limpin, your bro. own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. Got me in here brewing potions, bro. I was, I was alright in science class. I wasn't that good. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Okay. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. Uh, four clump juice? That sounds disgusting. Me here cooking up. I wonder what happens if you get those wrong. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. How you gonna forget how to stir? Hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, 
You'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Duras potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more... resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing. Okay. And we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. Yeah. It's skill. Relax. Clock, Ash, My parents eggs. considered keeping me home from school this year after the rumors of a goblin rebellion. Where the hell is the Ashwood dude? Eggs at? Eh? Where the eggs? Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? Mr. Weasley? Professor Weasley, your auntie or something? He did say that. He wants me to get more ingredients to brew another potion. Brilliant! You, my friend, have been presented with an extraordinary opportunity. Brilliant! I'm Gareth, by the way. Gareth Weasley. Bit of a prodigy with potions, if I do say so myself. Pleasure to meet you. Wait, are you related to Professor Weasley? Yeah, I She's my aunt. Question. Keeps too close right. an eye on me for comfort. Ugh. But she can't be everywhere. I use psychic magic. <laughs> Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Ajuras potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single whooper feather. As you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission, perhaps you could grab it for me. Nah. Mm-mm. I'm not sure, I don't bro. Know, Gareth. I don't want to get on Sharp's bad side. You won't. Pooper feathers aren't that valuable. Sharp won't even miss it. this man punk you, bro? No! I can't, bro. I enough to worry about collecting the ingredients he wants me to get. I'm afraid I can't help you. I understand. That's kind of weird. Why can't you do it? Why can't you ask if... Alright, so if they're not that valuable, right? Why can't you ask him, Hey, Professor Sark, let me get some, uh, pooper feather, bro. Like, no, bro. Try to get me in there to steal that shit. He won't miss it. Like, no, fuck no. Uh, activity outside the ordinary shop hours, particularly in the wee hours of the night. Special deliveries being made by the shop of Dr. Interest. Even when we know the shop reputation, we are adding more words to join than we are even watching the shop. You are amongst new additions. Okay. I got a hat? Oh, I got the feather anyway? Oh, oh. Hey, let's go. Your potion should but not be there, bro. Color, Miss McDowell. I give his bitch ass feather, bro. Here, Gareth. Hello again. Here's, Here's the, the feather, feather bro. you wanted. Knew you'd come around. Brilliant. Thank you. This is going to take a moment to brew. You should get back to brewing your Enduris potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. You got hella enthusiasm. Brilliant. Efficiency and potions are two things that cannot be rushed. Oh, no. Have Let's patience make this one. and be thorough. 20, oh, 28 seconds. Look at this at 28 minutes. I was like, what? And now we add the mallow sweet and. Well, you're a little too loud. I'm trying to focus on my potion. Wait, it's not supposed to. Uh -uh. What? What? Get it! Get it. Oh. He said he was a prodigy. <laughs> well done, Gareth. What now, Mr. Weasley? Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor again. Oh. Mr. Weasley did not do this on his own. His accomplice will answer to me as well. Oh, no. I don't bang with that man, bro. I brewed an Adurus potion as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping he Mr. Knows. Weasley brew chaos. Oh my god. Um, I ain't gonna lie to him, I'm bro. sorry, he Professor. I was merely trying to help a friend. Taking responsibility for one's actions does go a long way with me. I shall assume that you've learned a lesson. 
Yeah. As for the work you did today at your own cauldron, I will say you've done well. Not I confess fair. I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In no, addition no, to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I okay. recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. Okie dokie. I think each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed. Wait, I, I gotta talk to her. Oh, oh no. are going to reek from Garrus inspiration. Oh, no. Are you on I? You are. What did you want me outside for? Oh my god, look at her. Here, let's do this. Let's do this. Yeah, y'all see me had to change up the drip a little bit. Got some more defense stats and this stuff. You know what I'm saying? Me outside with it, bro. Bro. I like this game. This game is so beautiful, bro. When it's not lagging. <laughs> I got a 500 feet. Hey, let me teleport. Hell no. I can't even teleport there. Bro. Can I get a broom something? They got your boy traveling, traveling right now. Whoa, what the f They got goats in here? It's only room for one goat. Bro, she had me realize I've come out here hiking. Like, you couldn't tell me this in school? What's going on? It is good to see you, my friend. Hello, Natty. Why she say it How like are that? You? I am well, thank you. I was there, and I saw what happened with Rookwood and Harlow at the Three Broomsticks. I have been worried there? about you. I'm all right at the moment. If you don't mind my asking, why were they looking for you? I'm a young goat. Uh... Oh, and I feel like, I feel like she is, she the type, she'd probably snitch if, like, something go down. Sebastian? Sebastian's cool. He, he a real one, bro. He proved, he proved he a real one. I've never met Rookwood or Harlow. Perhaps they mistook me for another student. Mm. Yeah. A bit odd. The two of them pursuing a Hogwarts student so intently. But whatever the reason, you were clearly in danger. For now, it is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us. To all of us. Why you too? Which is why I wanted to speak to you. Everyone has been talking about you defending Hogsmeade from that troll attack. And I yeah. shall never forget watching Sorona stand up to Rookwood and Hollow in the Three Broomsticks. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. What sort of stand? Men like Rookwood and Hollow are the reason my mother and I left Matibili land. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. Okay, I feel it, I feel it. Good. Rookwood and Hollow are a dangerous pair. And you should know that Rookwood is in league with Ranrock. I had heard they were seen in Hogsmeade together. All the more reason they must be stopped. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations. Taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. That may be true, but shouldn't Officer Singer handle her. someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow is planning. A I was thinking what? that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right, but how? I am going to watch and listen and find out precisely what Harlow is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank you, Natty. You wanted me. You, and you gonna leave? You wanted me to walk all the way out here. How dare you threaten me? What's going on here? What the hell is that? She wanted me to walk all the way out here just to tell me that and left. Could have went to a secret room and 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 in Hogwarts. Something like that, bro. Nah, she just wanted me to come, come out this here. Way. Think. What's up with y'all? I've no idea who it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. Who's this, I new babe? have time to. Victor Rookwood don't give a doxy's nip back your time. What, Oi. a doxy's nip? Speak of the devil. 
Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. Well, I don't want a word with you him. Did, you did. <laughs> Enough out of you. Leave her alone. Hey, hold on. Let's go. Bitch. No. Stupid ass boy. Knock your bitch. What's up? Do something. Do something. Do something. No. Dumb ass boy. Ah, oh, shit. Lumos. Lumos, what the hell? Put your ass down. Who is that? Who is that? I'll take your corny ass on. But then when the enemy type may learn valuable insights and enemies just to some certain spells. What the fuck? What's she? I'm not going anywhere with you. Woo! No! You're easier to spot than an old one. Stupid air boy. Stupid. No, don't. My game. Let's start tweaking out now. Go somewhere. How do I? How do I fuck you up? Do I kill you? What do I use against you? Tell Rookwood to find me himself. Take your ass on. Sheesh. What on earth just happened? I've never been accosted in such a manner. Then so close to Hogwarts. Are you all right? I am, thanks in no small part to your excellent defensive skills. Care yeah, to tell me you. why two Ashwinders were ready to dispatch me to get to you? Ashwinders? Victor Rookwood's thieves and extortionists, his little cronies. They seemed quite keen on you. It's a long story. I'm famous. Thank you for your help. Hmm. Well, you've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. Best yeah. get moving on my research before they return. Um, who you mentioned Priya? someone named Priya. Yes, my wife. She's the one who oh. piqued my interest in Merlin. Gave me a She's book taken. when we were students at Hogwarts. Typical hard-working Hufflepuff. Brilliant potioner. Has her own shop in Nocturne Alley. She's a traveling vendor. Here's what's going on in the Highlands before I do. You're a researcher. Nora Treadwell at your service. Historian and archaeologist specializing in Merlin's work and life. Merlin? Of the legend of King Arthur? The very same. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know, and I'm studying what? some curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. Fixtures? These vine-covered pillars, dozens of them, all around the area. I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. I believe he created them as a diversion for his fellow Slytherins. Yeah, <laughs> he was yeah, I'm terribly saying, fond of Slytherin puzzles King. and enigmas. I can see why you're so interested in Merlin. I'd be keen to know more about the Trials. Well then, I'll let you in on a little secret. No one has yet managed to figure out how they work. But I believe I have just unlocked a crucial clue. I suspect that Mallow Sweet is an important component in getting the trials to work. She kind of talking my head off. Game got you doing a lot, see bro. That? The vines disappeared. What should I do now? Hmm, this is uncharted territory. I am curious about these pyres. Incendio. 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 Oh yeah, okay. I knew I had the to use Incendio. The pyre sink. Oh, okay. 
I take it we can call that a success? We can indeed. However, I now have even more questions. How does it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Hmm? Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swirl on the ground. You should feel free to solve them as you come across them. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. My guess is that each will also require mallow sweet, which you can find in Hogsmeade should you need more. I really must be off. Such a pleasure to meet you. All right, Roy. And do be careful out here. Now, I've got what I needed. I shall return to the safety of my notes and books. Greetings, young Slytherin. Scrope knows about the old book you found for Professor Fink. Scrope can help you. And you can help Scrope get to the courtyard. Speaking in third person right now? If you don't know it, you'll see it easy enough. And don't tell anyone what you're up to. Especially Professor Black. What's this? What's this? What's this? Mysterious note. Scrope knows about the book you found. Is it missing? Is it missing something? Scrope does not believe that it is safe to speak out in the open. Scrope has left another note across the bridge. This man really got me reading in third person for this man. Across the bridge among the circle of rocks. Take care. I told no one about this. Almost there. Head for the pumpkins. Just down from the stone circle. Look inside one of them. You may be able to help poor broken Scrope. All right. Head for the pumpkins. Just down the stone circle. Pumpkins? Ah. I think I know just the place. Rebellion. Oh, all right, Bebe. How do I get this? Hey, the young Southern must be exceptionally curious by now. Meet Scrope at the water's edge by the broken gods. Down to the water's edge. Hmm, this had better not be a trick. What the hell? Big nasty Thank ass you feet. for coming all this way. The name's Scrope. Scrope serves the headmaster. I've been in the Black family for years. The Apologies family. for the abundance of notes. Scrope wanted to be sure you weren't followed. What's this all about? Your notes mention the book I found in the restricted section. Scrope can tell you more in exchange for your help, but no one, especially the headmaster, can know. Um, of course, Happy bro. to help, especially if you can shed light on the book. Scrope is grateful. Scrope's late mistress, Apollonia Black, may she rest in peace, was a student at Hogwarts uh, over 50 years ago. Damn Before old, she old. died, she spoke with passion of pages ripped from a book. Scrope suspects she took them to her private grotto. She was delirious at the end, poor thing. Mistook Belladonna for elderberries. <laughs> Scrope tried to warn her. I'm sorry to hear that. But how do you benefit if I find the pages? Scrope believes that a treasured Black family ring is also in the grotto. Scrope wishes to give it to the headmaster. Apollonia forbade Scrope from entering the grotto long ago. Scrope continues to honor her wishes. Scrope would not dare ask a student for help. But when Scrope learned you were looking for those pages, Scrope thought you might also find the ring. That don't get annoying, like, talking in third person? It seems this may help us both. Um, I shall do it. Scrope is relieved. Scrope hoped the young Slytherin would be willing to help. Take this toast to the grotto just down the coast. And place it on the pedestal there. Good luck. Scrope will wait down. right here for you. Best of luck finding your pages and the ring. Scrope nasty with it, bro. Why are you wearing these damn rags? Like, go get you some drip, bro. Go to H. I don't know, H and M or something. <laughs> what the fuck, <laughs> bitch? Potato. What the fuck? Accio. What's stupid ass Incendio. on? What the fuck? That thing's nasty. Stupid. Incendious. Oh, I bet. Nasty ass thing. Another one? Fuck. 
Swim faster, bitch! You're not swimming any faster, bro. This man scrope set me up. Why would I need a piece of toast? I suppose that's where it goes. Wait, you mean literal toast? Oh no, it can't be literal toast, bro. Is it really? They've been eating it? Could it be a visitor? Who are you? Like, body your ass when you died? Oh, ah. Ooh. <laughs> Ew. Ah. The name's Richard Jackdaw. I was a student, just like you, about a century ago. How in the world Jeez. did you find this place? A house elf named Scrope sent me. Said I might find a black family ring here. Ah. Sorry to say, I sold the ring a long time ago. Poor Scrope. Still holds a candle for Apollonia, I reckon. Can't say you I blame him. I stole all these treasures just to impress her. Alas, it was to no avail. I thought a secret map I pilfered from Peeves would pique her interest. But she simply rolled her eyes. What would I want with yellowed old pages torn from a book? Not my finest moment. I'd like to have those pages, if you don't mind. They're not Let's here. Go. I thought if Apollonia wasn't interested in the map on the pages, perhaps it would lead to something that would intrigue her. So, I it's followed Apollonia, the map bro. to what I can only describe as an enchanted cave of some kind. She got us, and it? you see what happened next. <laughs> Here's an idea. Why don't you meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest, and I'll show you where to find the pages. Uh, I suppose if that's the only way for me to get those pages, I'll meet you at the forest. I'm sure the pages are still tucked in my waistcoat. If you don't mind the sight of a, well, my decapitated skeleton, they're yours for the taking. What is this? Lumos at the forest, I guess? Hello, Scrope. Thanks to you, I was able to enter Apollonia's grotto. The toast was the key. I met a ghost there, Richard Jackdaw, who's agreed to lead me to the pages I've been looking for. Oh, that boy was never good enough for Apollonia. Oh, yeah, like, what of the Black Family ring? I'm sorry to say that Jackdaw sold it long ago. Sad news indeed. Scrope shall need to think of another way to impress the headmaster. Scrope takes some consolation in knowing that the young Slytherin found what they needed. I did. Thank you again, Scrope. You're a credit to house elves. All right, you guys. That has been Hogwarts Legacy. I oh, hope you guys have been enjoying this series so far. Your boy tired. I just got off work. I'll see you guys in the next video, man. Hope you guys be easy. Have a nice day, week, month, year, life. You feel me? And I'll see you guys in the next video.